Some days you're the only thing I know. Only thing that's burning when the nights grow cold. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Elizabeth. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to do a little book haul for you guys. I really hope that they're good. So the books I have today are Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I actually read the other book. Here's my other book. See, this was supposed to be the prequel of Practical Magic, although I had no idea it was this was supposed to be like after but it's basically before in chronological order i hope that made sense this one i'm hoping to read after i read my book that i'm currently reading right now i'm currently reading the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle pretty good book there's a lot of twists and turns and it's kind of confusing at points but it's not a super terrible confusing if you know what i mean it's just a little bit and once you get the hang of it it's just it's a really good book. I really recommend it. Then there's The Girl in Red. I, I actually read another one by this author, Christina Henry. So this one, you can if you can tell, it's like a sick twist on Little Red Riding Hood, I'm pretty sure. As you can tell, The Girl in Red. But the other one I read was a twist on Alice in Wonderland. It's a pretty good book too. I recommend that one too. I think mostly all the books that I have I recommend, except like a few few could leave and I don't like them. And then I got The Silent Patient as well. This was the one that was on sale, which I'm so glad for. But this girl, she's married to a guy and for some reason she kills him. And after that, she just, she never says a word ever again. And she's guilty. She gets admitted into a psychiatric hospital and she just, she never speaks anymore. So I have no idea what's gonna go on in that one, but that's pretty cool. So this is the book that I'm currently reading right now. It is called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And it's a novel by Stuart Thornton. Thurton? There's no H, so I'm really not sure. I'm sorry. So I'm only like a little bit, I think there's about like 400 pages and I'm on like one of the hundreds. I'm not very far into it, but I am a quarter of the way through. Pretty good book. So far, I mean, I won't give any huge spoilers, but what I can tell you, like, especially kind of from the back, this guy, he is put into this game and he's put into eight different consciousnesses of Blackheath, which is the house that they're living in, of Evelyn Hardcastle, where she's from. But she's not, like, the sole owner. She has a mother and a father who own the place, but anyways, Evelyn Hardcastle, she is going to be murdered every day at 11 o'clock p.m. And so this guy, he has no idea what's going on. He lost all of his memories from everything before, but he wakes up in one conscious and then every single day that goes on and whatever, and there's like more stuff to it, more rules to it, I guess. But he goes through the different consciences and he has to try and figure out who is killing Evelyn at 11 p.m. every single night. So the same day is going to go on. If you guys have ever watched the movie Groundhog Day, where he keeps going over and over and over again until he can finally break the cycle. In order for him to break this cycle of going through the eight days over and over and over again, he has to find out who killed Evelyn Hardcastle. It's a pretty good book. It's kind of confusing, but once you get into it, you will love it. I guarantee it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys come back next week or whenever I make another video. I'm really not sure. I have a ton of books. Well, not even like a ton, but I have some ideas for other YouTube videos if you guys want to hear them or if you have any things that you recommend me to make. I was gonna do like some kind of clothing haul because I get clothing like all the time. Maybe some more book hauls or talking about those books that I said earlier that I do not really like and I do not really recommend, but I read them and I bought them. So what are you gonna do about it? I keep them up in my bookshelf anyways. Yeah, that's it. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you...